what would it take for Hamas to sign on to a ceasefire now? We want a ceasefire as soon as possible and that's parallel with the lifting of the siege on Gaza. This is the demand of the Gazan people. I call on the United Nations, Britain and the Americans to go to Gaza and ask them what they want. And I am prepared to accept 100% the answer of the people in Gaza. What the Americans seem to be working on is a two-stage deal where there will be a truce, where the guns, the rockets will stop firing. And then there will be a serious negotiation about how to boost the Gazan economy, how to ease the blockade on Gaza and to give the people of Gaza a better life. Are you prepared to accept a two-stage solution to this? Irrespective of the mechanism, what's important to me is that we should be a genuine guarantee to lift the siege on Gaza. We had promises in the past, but nothing was done. Gaza is a part of the Palestinian land. We have 1.8 million people living there. They need to live without the blockade. We need an airport, a port we want to open up to the world. We don't want to be controlled by boards across that makes Gaza the biggest prison in the world. People cannot go for medical treatment or to work. Why are the people of Gaza being punished with a slow death in the world's biggest uh, prison? This is a crime. We want the end of the aggression, the halt of the aggression, and the end of the siege. And we will accept clear and clear uh, clauses about the ceasefire. We are eager that the bloodshed should stop in Gaza. You talk of resistance. How can any idea of resistance justify putting rockets in a school building? This is a lie, frankly speaking. Let Israel show the rocket launching pads in Gaza. With respect, this is not something that has come from Israel. This is the UN Relief and Works Agency, which has said that up to 20 rockets were deposited in a school building inside Gaza. They are furious. The uh, Secretary General of the United Nations has expressed his outrage. He said those responsible are turning schools into potential military targets and endangering the lives of innocent children. This is not true. Rocket launchers in Gaza belong to the resistance. They are underground, and Israel is unable to reach them. This is why it pretends they are in civilian areas. Israel is hitting hospitals, mosques, towers and buildings. It committed a massacre in Shuja'iya, Tufaha district. There is a new massacre in Khuza'a, east of Khan Yunus, that the world has witnessed this morning. This is a butchery in Gaza, and the world is sitting idle, and it blames Hamas.